1340 Multiversity is a 501c3 nonprofit philanthropic campus, a learning destination where energy, discovery, and creativity flourish. Fourteen Forty Multiversity, which derives its name from the number of minutes in a day, is situated on 75 acres surrounded by towering California redwoods. Built on the bones of an abandoned college campus in the Santa Cruz Mountains, this commercial renovation project was spearheaded by architect Jerry Yates, who collaborated with the organization's founders to create a design to match California's endemic architectural styles. The design theme was kind of an um, interesting conjunction of what I was thinking at the time in my life and what 1440 um, wanted. I'd done a craftsman style house a couple of years earlier for a friend of mine in Santa Cruz. I said, boy, I'd sure like to do a big craftsman style project. The campus consists of 15 buildings and is a mix of renovated structures and new construction. The site encompasses a cathedral of old growth redwood trees, including a 1200 year old mother tree that anchors the entire campus. The site challenges were mainly, it's in the mountains, there's a topography going on that you have to integrate and make functional and allow for the circulation of pedestrian vehicles. Two million pounds of stone were imported for the project from Montana, California, and India. During construction, 275 invasive species trees were removed, and in their place, the landscaping team thoughtfully planted 650 trees and 20,000 plants. 1440 boasts over 75 species of edible plants, which are used in the teaching kitchens on site. primary concern, other than aesthetics and how the buildings come together, is going to be uh, accessibility, ADA and California accessibility. The railing are a, a, a very prominent theme. Actually, the interior designer suggested using cable ropes. I, I thought they were um, an interesting way to sort of make the um, style of architecture kind of relate more to somewhat contemporary.
The campus includes five guest room buildings, including Sianta, named after the Olone tribe that is said to have lived in the Scotts Valley area. By the time we got in uh, Sianta, where we have all those balconies with, with the cable rails, by the time we got to that building, we went with that and everybody liked the idea. And so we just kind of um, took it from that building and evolved it to the rest of the site. Multiversity's vision is creating hope for living well, and everything about the campus design reflects this philosophy. The campus is home to large, aspirational, site-specific art pieces integrated with elements of the natural world both indoors and out. We also had a really good interior design team. Joni, uh, one of the founders of 1440, took a big interest in the uh, interior design and the art and everything. Throughout the project, you know, we had weekly meetings with the interior design team. They were always looking for ways to add these little delightful things that you would just run across. Groups and individuals who visit 1440 experience time differently exploring important global issues that matter to the greater good, while surrounded by mountain air and towering ancient redwoods. I would have to say my favorite aspect of the completed project, I think it fits in very well with uh, the natural landscape. And I think that the buildings, they, they really fit in with the whole environment. And I think that that creates a sense of harmony and sanctuary that uh, just goes right to the heart of uh, the 1440 experience and philosophy. The campus opened in 2017. During 2020, amid a global pandemic and local wildfires, 1440 Multiversity served over 80,000 meals to the community. In 2021, 1440 launched Healing Our Healthcare Heroes to open its doors to frontline doctors and nurses in need of spiritual healing and emotional recovery. The campus will open this summer to full capacity welcoming all who desire a transformative experience in this beautiful mountain learning destination. We hope someday you get a chance to visit this campus to reflect, to learn, and to rejuvenate. <laughs>